Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to discuss another interesting topic, parametric analysis. In parametric analysis, you can automate your simulation. You can use it in three different ways. For example, when you have different design point, so you can automate all those design points. You don't need to run each simulation separately. If you want to do grid resolution study, so there you can automate your simulation. Or if you want to test different version of your geometry, so there you can also use parametric analysis. So let's start with the point one simulation with various design point. Here I have a geometry in which uh, it represents the PCB and these are three ICs. These three ICs are generating heat and we want to cool down through liquid cooling. So liquid is passing underneath this PCB. And you can see liquid is flowing through this cooling channel and this base plate is of aluminium. We want to see the temperature of these ICs under different flow condition. So let's set our simulation parameters. Here is our simulation case. The meshing has already been done. Let's go for the simulation setup. It is a steady state simulation without gravity. And in model, we need energy equation as we are solving temperature. Let's leave K omega SST as default for the fluid flow. Then we need to define materials. Uh, liquid uh, is passing through this channel, so let's use water as our cooling fluid. Normally, water glycol mixer is used. I can use Fluent Database to use the water or to define the liquid water. So, here, just copy and close. Then, we need to define material for this base plate. It is of aluminium, it is already there. Then, I need to define PCB and IC. So, let's Copy this one, it says aluminium one. So let's give it a name PCB. Remove this one. If you will leave as it is, it will throw error as aluminium is already in this one. The properties for PCB you can use whatever properties your material has. So I'm using these properties. It has orthotropic thermal conductivity. So you choose orthotropic. You should know the properties in each direction. Zero represent the x component, one represent y, and two is the z. So in x direction, I have 41. In y direction, in the direction of cooling, is 0 0.8, and in z direction, 9. Click OK. Change create. Yes. And you can define third one. Let's say ICs, remove this one. This twenty seven hundred three eighty specific heat and three eighty three thermal conductivity. Change create overwrite aluminium no. So all materials have been defined. Now let's go for boundary condition. Oh, sorry, cell zone condition. Before that, let's change units. So in domain, go to the units. Here, click M, mass flow rate. I want to define in gram per second and temperature I want to define in Celsius. Close. So cell zone condition, the fluid should be liquid. So open this fluid and choose water liquid. Apply, close. Just to be sure, display and here is a fluid. Then in solid, so PCB, just add to active window. Here is our PCB. So PCB should be aluminium. So change to PCB, apply, close. IC and it should be IC. Here we have to define heat source. So source term, then you will check this one. So this one will be activated. Source term, so here add it and choose how many source term you want to define. So we want to define one source term for each IC, so choose one. Here you can give either constant value or here you can choose new input parameter. 
So here you will take input parameter. So here you can define your heat source as a parameter. Let's say heat source one. And you need to define heat source in watt per meter cube. So whatever heat generation is there, divide it by its volume and you will get the heat source in watt per meter cube. So I have 2.1 e power 6. And we want to use it as input parameter. Click OK. You will see what it will do. Heat source as a parameter has been added. Click OK. Apply. Close. And just to be sure to see what this component is add to active window and here is this one. Similarly, go to second IC and define IC heat source, heat source, edit one component here. You can choose the same heat source if it has the same heat source, otherwise define another parameter and Heat source 2 and choose whatever value you have. Use as input parameter. Click OK. Even you can put over here 0 and you can change it later. So we will do it for the third one. So let's say third one. Choose IC, activate heat source, source term, add it 1. And then if you have constant, if you don't want to use as a parameter, so just choose constant. Uh, new input parameter, let's call it heat source 3. Okay, I'm leaving it at 0 and we can change it from outside. So use as input parameter, click OK. Apply, close. Just to see, add to active window. Here is the this one and uh, add to active window here is this one let's check this one and here is our base plate and it is of aluminium so it should be of aluminium so it is already aluminium so here pcb is in direct contact with aluminium it means there should be some insulation so either you should uh, have a geometry for that insulation and mesh but i didn't do that Alternatively, you can also define insulation without having geometry, but uh, I'm not doing that either at this time. So I will do it in some other video. So for the time being, we just want to see how you can set parametric analysis. Now, next is the boundary condition. So inlet, I have given the mass flow inlet. So you could see it is already type is already mass flow inlet. So it recognizes the name. Anyway, open this one. Here we want to have diff we want to simulate for different flow rate. It means here we want to choose flow rate as a parameter. So here mass flow rate and choose as new input parameter. So mass flow. So let's put it three and use as input parameter. Click OK. We also need to define the temperature. So fluid is entering at 20 degrees Celsius. Apply, close. The interfaces has already been defined. So when you define properly in your meshing, so fluent read those interfaces. So just to show you a couple of interfaces, for example, here, if I display this one. So here is the contact region between the PCB and fluid. You don't need to do anything at outlet. So our outlet is pressure outlet and it is at zero Pascal. I will stop here and we will continue with the rest of the portion in the second part of the video. Thank you.